Well, how did they end up here? What's the what's their story? Happens on a. It happened pretty frequently. Yeah, regular yeah, basis. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Same thing. Oh, they're they're constantly like moving them away from the city. So just to get to their house, they're risking their lives. The little kids like this. Hello, I'm Malaysia Kotakina Balu. I'm from Malaysia. 어 이곳에 처음 오기로 결정을 했을 때 어, 휴양지니까 좀 와서 쉬다 갈까 이 생각을 먼저 했어요 근데 여러 가지로 고민이 좀 많이 들더라고요 어, 사람들이 그걸 좀 보고 싶어 할까도 첫 번째로 있었고 두 번째로 휴양지라는 게 해변 보고 노을 보고 맛있는 거 먹고 뭐 이런 거가 다잖아요 제 생각에 그거는 뭐 하루 이틀 정도면 충분하지 않을까 라는 생각이 들어 가지고 아 그러면 그럴 게 아니라 뭔가 의미 있는 일을 해보자 라는 생각을 했는데 어 제가 예전에 잠깐 그 UN 난민기구라는 데서 일을 한 적이 있었어요 근데 그때 당시에 기억이 나는 게 말레이시아를 포함한 이제 동남아 국가들의 무국적자가 많다라는 이야기를 다룬 적이 있었어요 근데 그 무국적자가 뭐냐 국적이 없는 사람들인데 이게 흔히 국적이 없으면 어 여권이 없어서 여행을 못 다니나 정도로 생각을 많이들 하게 되는데 그게 아니라 어 국적이 없으니까 신분증이 없고 신분증이 없으니까 다쳐도 병원에 가서 뭐 치료를 받을 수가 없고 학교에 가서 교육을 받을 수가 없고 말 그대로 방치되는 거예요 이 사회 복지의 사각지대에 놓이게 되는 건데 제가 뭐 그분들의 삶을 쉽게 재단할 것은 아니지만 도움이 필요하신 상황이 아닐까? 라는 생각이 들어서 물어보려고요 혹시 도와드릴 게 있을까요? 정도? 55? I'm again Seriously? You're over 60? I'm 61. Oh my god. <laughs> I never... MBA, they have no, no document, I think. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's the, that's the problem. Mm. Okay. You call them, huh? Okay. You call them, then you are here already. Okay, okay. okay. Bye bye. <laughs> 친절한 택시 아저씨가 가셨고, 저는 Parkos Trust라는 데로 왔습니다. 여기는 말레이시아의 소외된 이웃들을 돕고 국적이 없는 무국적자 아이들을 교육하고 아, 헬로. 윌리엄 데뷔. 윌리엄. 나이스 미트 유. 아이 앤. 나이스 미트 유. 아이 유 알로우? 예, 아이 유 알로우. 예, 퍼스트 비지트 인 KK. 예. 아, 저 원중 이프 아이 컷 겟 썸 헬프 인, 유노, 리서칭 디스 피플. 라이크 메이비 미팅 댐 앤 라이크 아스킹 썸 퀘션. Um, so that I can raise awareness. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if I... So what happens to those children who grew up without having the proper document? This is our problem. Mm. Those children who do not have documents, mm -hmm. uh, when they grow up, what will they be? Mm. They will be a time bomb for yeah. Malaysia because they can be easily influenced to do mm. something. Mm. They can be, they might become a terrorist. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Th so there's a nearby terrorist group mm. here in Sabah, right? Yes. It's only a few hours away. Mm. Mm. No, because they don't belong to anything, and we because we. Actually, because they're undocumented, we look down on them, mm. and they have very poor self-esteem. Mm. So anybody who will show interest in them mm. can groom them to become mm. terrorists. So that's also yeah. the, you know, we. What's going on here?
안녕하세요. 연차. 안녕하세요. 윌리엄입니다. 오늘 제가 왜 이렇게 족보같이 차려입었냐. 라하드 다투라는 지역으로 갑니다. 라하드 다투를 왜 갔느냐부터 설명을 드리면 여기가 무국적자 친구들이 주로 거주하는 지역입니다. 어디 쪽에 있냐. 똑같은 사바주인데 그 사바주의 남쪽에 남서쪽 정도의 위치에 있습니다. 타와우라는 지역 근처에 위치한 곳인데 여기 해상가옥에 굉장히 많이들 거주를 하고 있습니다. 이 무국적자들이. 그래서 바다 위의 집시라는 별명으로 또 불리는데요. 어, 그 부족이 어떻게 보면 원시 부족 같이 이제 똘똘 뭉쳐서 생활을 하는데 어, 국적이 없기 때문에 겪는 에러 사항들이 굉장히 많아요. 예를 들면 이제 병원 치료를 받지 못해서 죽어가는 사람들도 많고 학교 교육을 받지 못하는 경우들도 많고 새로 조금 논해긴 한데 기후변화 있죠. 기후변화 때문에 해수면이 상승을 하잖아요. 바다가 높아지고 있단 말이에요. 자기 집이 막 수영장이 되고 있다 막 이런 식으로 농담을 할 정도로 어, 집을 버려야 되는 상황이 나옵니다. 내집 마련을 했는데 내 집이 갑자기 물에 잠기고 있는 거예요. 여기 비정부기구 NGO에서 도와주신다고 당연히 하셔가지고 다녀올 거고 또뭐 있지? 
Sea Gypsy. Sea Gypsy. But they are resting now because there is a police there. Mm. So they cannot land on the street. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, it's a police. <laughs> He said that need to ask a district officer, uh -huh. uh, DO in Ladatu, how to solve this problem. Right, exactly. Um, yeah, so to improve the image, I guess if, if the city helps them, they can improve the image, right? Why don't they help? Uh, data system, uh, too many of them. You need to make sure which one is uh, indigenous people, mm. which one is illegal immigrant. Mm. So one they can identify, only then they can get help. Mm. Only then the help can come. Mm. If not, they think uh, maybe too much resources. Mm. And then, is there any work done to identify them? Ada apa pak kerja kena India? They are considered legal, really legal to stay here. Mm. 15 years. Ah, itu itu daripada pihak sana lah. But they are not from Philippines, right? Oh. Many generations. And then they get sent back to Philippines? Just wrap up. He said even many generations here, uh -huh. they'll be sent back to Philippines also. Uh -huh. So like these kids and babies, like they so they have to be fifteen years old to grant to be granted, right? Our oh, parents. Oh, okay, okay, parents. Okay, okay. How do they prove the fifteen years? Hey, from the way how they behave. Oh, oh I know it. okay, okay. Gaya, gaya kehidupan dalam. Ah, just just by the look. Just by the look. Yeah. Okay, okay. Ah, uh. there are cases where the parents are deported but kids stay. Um, uh, ada pernah berlaku. Uh, a lot of cases. A lot of cases. A lot is very frequent. Meaning the parents get deported, uh -huh. but children, small children, was left here. But, so so they, they can't get the right because the parents have to be here for 15 years. They don't have they don't have document. He say need to look at the document but mm. they, they have no document. They don't have document. So like it's not really realistic. It, it, it doesn't sound realistic to me. Mm. So you but he say he's not sure. He mm. cannot answer the question. Mm. Yeah, okay, go back to me. Yeah. Thank you. Towards them. So when they know these kind of people, they are sick when they are asking for jobs, they won't get hired. It's like homeless people. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Perhaps we can go to one of those like boats or panji. Yeah. And pay a visit to their. Philippines are not from. They've been here. Yeah. 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 They're considered indigenous. Yeah. Yeah. They've been here for. They're, they're actually the owners of this land, yeah. not, not the Malaysians. Yeah. Now this is a local people. Uh -huh. it's, uh, you go further inside, uh -huh. it's all the those kind of stateless. Beggar, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. So they used to just walk on the, these streets? Walk, sometimes they mud. go inside. Uh -huh. yeah, they, <laughs> they just walk on the mud? Yeah. It's, uh, it's not sanitary. Yeah, not common. Uh. See all the trash here. Yeah. This one is a water pump. Okay. It's also supplied by. Here is still okay. You will go further and further. You will see how their houses change. Hmm. Hello. Oh yeah, go in. Mm. So they're trying to demolish all these areas? In the end, not successful, yeah. Uh. Initially, they want to demolish this area. Oh, okay. Uh. Into their house. Yeah, there got more room. Should we? Yeah. <laughs> Kau naik tempat belang dulu. Sini dok. Tempat belang. Tempat belang. Kau naik 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 naik. Kau ini bersedia. Terang. Saya dia apa? Ya. Ya. Okay kan dok? Ha, it's dangerous. Should we go back? So usually the small kids when they fall down, some have a drowning. 
Oh yeah. I can feel oh. His pass away. From drowning. Ah, uh, from drowning when they fall and when they fall down. Just just to get to their house. Yeah. They're risking their lives. Yeah. Huh. Like little kids like this just drown? Yeah, drown. Many of them, they're Arabanya and Lamaskan. Yeah. Yeah, there are many kids that drown. Oh, oh yeah, because there, there aren't always adults watching over, right? Yeah, they just, they, when they fell down, it uh. happened many times. Uh. They, they can tell. Uh, okay, okay. Like a grinder or uh -huh. whatever. So yeah, it's yeah. for them to build the boat. Build the boat, oh, build the bridge. Like, yeah. they don't have all this. Yeah, I see the bridge is new here. Yeah. So they got a lot of foot injury. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they cannot go to hospital. Uh. Oh. I think recently their boat uh, confiscated. Oh, okay. They need to pay a huge amount of money uh -huh. to get back from the authority. Oh. So they just come, come in and just take away the Take boat. the boat. Yeah. <laughs> That's. And a lot of things happen, man. Uh. And all these houses. So are they asking for like money, money bribery? Yes. Uh, I'm not sure, but uh. they, they're asking for money, uh -huh. 1,300 uh -huh. ringgit for each boat to be returned. Oh. Uh, but they earn like 15 ringgit a day, right? So yeah. like in order to earn. 1300 like it's it's almost impossible so yeah, i'm not sure 100 how days they of work. I, I, I don't know and they they need the boat to fish yeah they need yeah. the boat actually we told the authority they need mm. the boat mm. but they they, they don't care they don't care <laughs> constantly like moving them yeah, but constantly away moving from them, the city but, uh, it's uh. very dangerous they, they, their boat is small uh -huh. they are broken they cannot cross the ocean uh -huh. if they are sick there's nowhere to go mm. there's no water supply for they're them. isolated there yeah, uh. yeah th those, so yeah, so it's impossible it's impossible. Yeah, yeah so the government is asking them something that they can follow up yeah. with yeah. yeah they can't be responsible for it. Anybody who I can like talk to, it doesn't have to be like the head of the department. It just has to be someone who is able to give me information. Oh crap! Her children pass away. Her child pass away.